Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 17th, 2023. Well, my goodness, it's hot outside, and we are seeing the bears kind of heat up the market here, too, with, um, doggone it, some technical damage starting to show up in the index charts. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, doggone it, those bears. Um, hmm continued to uh, get a little bit feisty. Um, we had a target missing on earnings guiding lower. We had uh, the FOMC minutes suggesting that the Fed members um, are worried about inflation and more rate hikes might be on the way. And um, not surprisingly, that brought those bears back out. So what do we got going on here in the diamonds? As you can see, we created this lower high in the chart and now we have officially created a downtrend by breaking down through this low and following through to the downside so our downtrend um, is technically the technical pattern of the downtrend is there now the good news on the qq or diamonds is that we are still holding an upside trend here overall didn't mean to move that line let's move this one up uh, continuing in this upside trend so no um, horrible um, thing has cre been created here that um, we would have to be overly concerned about but um, we are quickly approaching our 50-day moving average here and that possibility that that 50-day moving average could drag us right down into there does exist so if we find that the bulls find inspiration today well then we've got to deal with this resistance or rally back you can see they're trying to pump up in the pre-market here ahead of all the earnings and economic data that are on the way but we're trying to pump up here and as you can see pushing up into this area we run into this price resistance in the chart and of course the downtrend that we're going to have to deal with so watching that carefully in here um, as we rally back up that may actually set up the next opportunity for a short if that relief rally does kind of come into play here so watch that carefully um, rallying back into resistance always has to be something we need to watch closely then if we take a look at um, if the bears were to continue to find inspiration well my guess is if they continue to push to the downside a, a very logical place to go would be this support area right in here somewhere between right there and right there and that's going to test that 50-day moving average here as support so um if the bears find inspiration today watch for that to be a potential here in the diamonds now if we take a look at our spy spy has already created some technical damage we broke our upside trend and not only did we break our upside trend we broke down through we rallied back up to test it as resistance and then continued to fail breaking the next level of price support. So we are continuing this downtrend here in the SPY, pushing things lower. And unfortunately, as we push things lower here in the chart, we also failed our 50-day moving average. So our next level of price support in the chart, as you can see, would be right in here. I suggested yesterday, if we, if we break down through here, then the next level would be here and that is still true today so if we find bearish inspiration here today look for a test of this level in the chart if that were to break then well as you can see we just continue to con move on down to the next levels where we see some price support in the chart so watch that closely um so 
if we push down into here, I would be watching for a potential bounce. And remember, we could whipsaw pretty dramatically in the day on the data that we have pending today. So watch that as well. If we take a look at our QQQ, unfortunately, some significant technical damage was created here as well. And probably the worst of it would be the fact that we rallied back up here. We slammed into these uh, multiple areas of price resistance um, after breaking down through the big uptrend and then failed right there failed and went on lower and then broke the support. As you remember yesterday, I said, I don't think anything gets too terrible bad here in the QQQ. If we hold that support, it gets ugly if we break that. Well, we clearly broke it um, here yesterday and now our next support level is down here in the QQQ and we have now officially failed at our 50 day moving average. We rallied to our 50 and failed at that 50 day moving average. So that puts us in that situation where we could see more volatility to the downside. If those bears continue to find that inspiration, we're starting to shake confidence here in the market. Now, if the bulls find inspiration, then we would look for a bounce back up and a retest. Now, remember this downtrend here could be a little bit of a problem for us, for us to push back through and breaking this resistance in the chart. Remember, we gotta get back up through there as well. If we can do that on a relief rally, then I think the real key area will be watching up here around that 50 day moving average and this high point in, in the chart. If we can get through that, we might be okay and we might start um, rebounding. If we rally back into here and start to show weakness and failure, I would suggest that could create that next lower high. Now that may change the trajectory of the trend. We might have that downtrend um, um, push out like that but that would still be um, a, a problem here for the market if that were to occur so watch carefully as we approach those resistance levels I personally think I'll be looking for short positions as we push to those levels but it all depends on how that price action plays out and then if we take a look at our IWM, IWM also suffering technical damage here in the chart, breaking on down through this price support that I talked about yesterday. If we bounce off of that, we're okay. Well, that didn't happen. And we also failed our um, trend here to the upside. So pushing down very, very sharply here in the chart, we do um, because of that sharp move to the downside, we're overdue for a little bit of a relief rally in here. But let's look, the next level of price support would be down in here. So we can't rule out that possibility that we would push down into that next level of price support before we see that rally back to the upside. So watch that closely. Now, um, if the bulls find inspiration here, I'm gonna look for that push back into this area of the chart. Um, if we can break through there, then just keep in mind, we have that next area of resistance up here to be worried about and that 50 day moving average that could be a problem for us right there in the middle of those two levels. So be careful, be cautious on the rally back. Don't get overconfident that we're gonna zoom right back to the upside because we have created this technical damage. On the VIX, well, we created another technical problem here for us in the chart. As I've been suggesting, the um, the real selling um, usually begins or can, can begin only after a higher low is put in on the VIX. And we did that, we put that higher low in and not only that, we followed through another day. So this um, officially did hold that higher low. Now this will only confirm if it breaks that resistance right there to the upside, which may mean that there could still be a little bit of volatility today and whipsaw, um, even though the futures are trying to show confidence at the moment. Watch that carefully. If that were to extend up there, then that really confirms this lower high and upside trend beginning in the VIX, 
which brings that fear back to the market. If the bulls find inspiration today, then we could rest and pull back. We could pull back into here and hold um, what we want. Um, if you want to see some selling, what we would want to see on this is that we don't break um, this upside trend that's created here. Um, if you want, if you are a bear in the market, rest of consolidation in here, a pullback into here, holding that trend and then a bounce back up is what you'd want to see. If you're a bull um, in this market, you want to see this down, this trend break back to the downside. And it's certainly possible if we can find some data to help shake off some of this uncertainty that we've seen in the market. Let's take a look at our uh, T2122. This is our best hope for an upside move right here is our T2122 down here in the bearish, or excuse me, bullish reversal zone. And um, you can see that there still is that technical possibility that we could stretch just a little bit more if we happen to have some um, bad data in the market. But we're starting to run out of room, uh, at least in the short term, for that downside move unless the data really piles on. So uh, look, start watching for, uh, if you're in short position, start um, tightening up those stops and looking for that possibility that we would bounce back to the upside with a little bit of relief. Now that doesn't mean we zoom all the way back to the top. It just means that we are due for a little bit of relief here um, in our T2122. Remember, we can also, because we lingered so long up here, we could also linger down here. And what that means is we could get some little seesaw bouncing in here and continue that push to the downside. So this does not necessarily mean this has to rally. If the data continues to come out bad and continuing to worry the market, we could seesaw in here continuing that downside move in the market because we lingered so long here doing exactly the same thing. Let's take a look at our T2108. Our T2108, rough day yesterday, giving up support here in the chart, breaking down pretty sharply. Now 36% of the stocks above their 40 day moving average. As you can see, we've broken that trend. Uh, to the upside, obviously this trend was broken some time ago. So any rally back, notice we've got some price support in here that could give us that hope that we get catch a little bit of relief rally. Any rally back now, we'll wanna be watching these levels in here for that next level of price resistance and um, that possible continuation to the downside. So watch that on T2108. Our T2107 also weakened yesterday, breaking through some price support levels, pushing on down 46% of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average. And as you can see, also that uh, trend break here, we do have some price support in here. So once again, a little bit of hope that we catch that relief rally here soon, bounce off of some of these support levels. And once again, as we do watch those resistance levels to the upside, they could quickly become that next lower high in that chart. If we take a look at our T2101, well, as I have been mentioning for some time, this breadth has been a problem for us. And unfortunately, the breadth of the market has increased on the sell wave here in uh, this downtrend. Now, keeping in mind right in here, we may rally um, or sink a little bit more in the market to test that resistance in the chart. What we want to see, if the bulls were to come in on a relief rally, we don't wanna see this breadth sink all the way back down. If the market breadth sinks hard on a, um, on a buy wave in the market that shows that there's not enough enthusiasm in it, and then when the bears come back in, we start pushing through some of these downtrend areas on that breadth move. So watch that carefully here in T2101. We wanna see that breadth continuing to expand on a buy wave if those bulls are engaged. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar has a few things that we'll wanna be paying attention to. Um, we talked about this yesterday. We're gonna have a jobless claims here this morning coming out and right now they are expecting jobless claims 
come in a little lighter than last time. Remember, this is one of those situations where the Fed wants to see more people on the unemployment line, reducing those um, uh, those numbers of, uh, or that confidence number that uh, everything is great. We're, we're starting to have that situation where high wages are pushing inflation. And so they need to see uh, folks fearing for their job a little bit. So here's one of those circumstances where good news for, the, for, for us, for individuals, will be bad news potentially for the market. So if this number doesn't continue to grow to the upside and seeing those con um, initial claims continue to grow, that could um, also be a, a problem for the Fed and we might see the market react negatively to that. Um, keeping in mind, we've got the Philly Fed coming in. Right now, the consensus is suggesting that the Philly Fed comes in at a negative 10, which is an improvement from the negative 13 and a half on the last read but if you remember how poor this number on empire state came in missing huge um you might want to watch that one closely it's possible that could miss and that is potentially a market moving report if we suddenly decide we're going to start paying attention um, that we are now uh, pressing into our 10th month of a manufacturing declines in, in the United States. So watch that carefully. We've got leading indicators, uh, probably not gonna be much of a market mover. We've got the petroleum uh, um, uh, natural gas report coming out. We've got a couple of bond auctions to be thinking about, Fed balance sheet at the end of the day that nobody's going to pay attention to. And then tomorrow we get some relief on that um, uh, calendar. Um, maybe be able to take a little bit of breath and if we can find that inspiration for the bulls maybe we can follow through on that relief rally just remember all of this uncertainty going into the weekend if we kind of pile on with more uncertainty today it may be difficult for the market to grab any ground uh, or the bulls to grab any ground pushing back um, heading into that uncertainty of the weekend so we need to see a little bit of life coming in here today i think if we're going to follow through tomorrow let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar here for today our earnings calendar um, what we're waiting for this morning is we're waiting for walmart uh, Walmart will be, be reporting here this morning. Um, I'm doing this video prior to that report. It could come out any minute now, but watch that carefully here. A little bit of popping around here in anticipation of that earnings report, but watch that closely. We had Target miss, kind of disappoint. We had Home Depot hit, but um, they um, uh, essentially said, we don't see strength in the consumers. Um, so their outlook isn't all that great. So um, Walmart could be the savior here of the big boxes to say, hey, uh, something's different here for them. Um, fingers crossed, um, watch that closely. Besides Walmart, we're gonna hear from Applied Materials. Uh, today we've got that going on, uh, B-I-L-I -I for a notable in here. You'll wanna be keeping an eye on that. Uh, we've got Dole reporting here today. We've got uh, Fartet, Farfetch, <laughs> Farfetch um, reporting here today. Uh, keep an eye on that. We've got uh, K-E-Y-S on the list, L-I-T-E on the list. We've got Tapestry on the list, not looking so hot healthy there on Tapestry. And then of course that WMT that could come in um, here at any moment. So, that could quickly change overall sentiment in the market. Um, and what that means is we're pumping in the pre-market here, trying to get a little bit of a relief rally, trying to show some confidence. Um, sentiment could quickly shift if these numbers aren't good. So watch that closely. If they are good, then maybe we attack some of those resistance levels in the chart. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, um, if you can do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and click that bell icon when it pops up so you're notified every time I post a video. And you know what to do if you find these videos to be useful or helpful. If you could click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. 
that helps the channel a bunch. Remember, it's the engagement with the video that YouTube is watching. More people engaging, then they share the video with more folks out there and helps the channel to grow. So thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that and support the effort in putting these videos out on a daily basis. I truly, truly appreciate it. Make sure to remember that you can share these videos on your social media feed. That also helps a lot. And um, remember, just drop a note. You don't have to have a long dissertation on there. Drop an emoji and that counts as um, engagement with the video. So thank you so much, everyone. Let's take a look at some stock setting up here today. And remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You're gonna have to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful in this market. Um, the uncertainty is really starting to grow and the situation over there in China is really making um, some, uh, some worrisome, possibilities that we're going to be importing some of that deflation from China right over here into the USA. So just be a little bit careful and cautious. Try not to over trade. Make sure on these um, trade ideas that I'm going to post here that you're following your own due diligence, you're um, following your own trading rules, make sure you, so you understand the risk of every trade and that risk is acceptable to you, not to me. And remember that you should never ever blindly follow on anyone else's trade ideas. If you look at the chart and say, man, that Campbell guy is out of his mind here on this, then follow that commitment. Don't listen to what I have to say when it comes to a trade. We all look at charts a little bit differently. Let's take a look at uh, some of these stocks setting up. And um, one I would want to point attention to, and I talked about this one yesterday, is Home Depot. Now, Home Depot did report a good earnings report. They didn't give a whole lot of confidence for the future for the consumer, but we're, we did follow through yesterday. We attempted to run, we ran into this resistance and pulled back, but we're still holding in that bullish move here in the chart. So perhaps a couple of days of rest in here, then maybe we can pop through that resistance and continue to move on to the upside. Now, something that's likely going to have some influence on whether that moves through or not is we're going to get Lowe's earnings here pretty soon. So keeping an eye on that, um, watch that closely. Next Tuesday, this will report. And unfortunately, Lowe's right now has a pretty bearish pattern showing up in here. Um, selling off yesterday and putting in this lower high right on that resistance level in the chart. That's creating a bit of a problem here for the um, overall um, overall chart. So looking right across there, boy, that's not very good. We'll want to be watching that pretty closely for that potential. That could be the lower high and we could move on down here in lows. So that might be a complication for that Home Depot trade. Um, let's take a look at NVIDIA again. Um, NVIDIA, uh, struggled just a little bit yesterday, tried to move up, struggled just a little bit, even though they caught an upgrade, um, somebody came out and said they've got 80% more upside. Okay. Um, <laughs> these predictions, these wild predictions, um, if our market is weakening, um, I don't know, that seems nuts to me, but maybe they do. And if they do, we need to see evidence of that, of buyers in here. So notice we've got some price resistance in this chart, but we've broken that downtrend. This resting pullback in here could create that higher low in NVIDIA to the upside. Notice we've got some price support there as well. So watch that closely here. Watch for some proofs that some buyers are coming in and Nvidia may very well be that upside move that you're looking for. Uh, take a look at GE. GE continues to consolidate in this resting pattern. We do have this resistance up here, but it's not a super, super strong resistance to be worried about. But because of this big steep rally, we may have to consolidate more and in that chart i do think there is still that possibility that we pop this resistance and then maybe work uh, a little bit more in consolidation and could have that potential to even stretch up here to that next level of resistance in the chart on ge so keep an eye on that um 
there are quite a few short trades setting up in the market with this selling. Take a look at DKNG. DKNG gapping down here, rallying back to price resistance in the chart and now showing failure. Pushing through this low would confirm this downtrend. There would be our trend to the downside. As much as we love gambling, we're starting to get a little bit of of uncertainty here in this market building so watch that close that could move right on lower here and boy i'm seeing a lot of those potentials um, in the market the one that's really bullish is uh, u.s steel there was a pending deal with cleveland cliffs to buy u.s steel um, U.S. Steel rejected that, and my goodness, we turned around and went like a rocket to the upside on U.S. Steel, which is entering, interesting due to the strength of the dollar. But watch this closely. Um, this power move to the upside, if this can hold up in here, maybe rest for a little bit, look for the next opportunity to the upside on U.S. Steel. Looking pretty good there. Lift continues to hold in a positive pattern here a little concern because we may have just put in kind of a double top but we continue to move in this upside trend look for that next opportunity that that could push through to the upside so with that guys i want to wish you all of the best today i'm running out of time have a wonderful wonderful day i wish you all kinds of success and profits on your day and we'll see you right back here bright and early friday morning wish you all the best